I just had this moment where I completely choked up and broke down and I felt lost. When did I feel lost? That's not hard to remember because it was a pivotal turning point in my life. It was in 2012, I just had a newborn, a new son. We had had a beautiful daughter the year before as well. So here I was, a mom of, of two new babies. I've only wanted to be a mom and it should have been the happiest moment of my life. I was walking through Centennial Park with my husband, who's my best friend, and life was supposed to be perfect, right? Yet I broke down. I choked up and I just had this moment. I know the exact tree where I was at in Centennial Park and there are a lot of trees around there. And where I was, where I just absolutely broke down and cried and I did not know who I was anymore. And I felt completely and utterly lost. I had an identity crisis and it's a moment of feeling so vulnerable and a moment of feeling so intensely fragile because you don't know what your next move is. I felt blank, purposeless, almost soulless, valueless, which is crazy because I have this beautiful family and this incredible husband and I've only ever wanted to be a mum. And yet here I was and it had just crept up on me that over the years I'd somehow been wearing all these different identity hats as so many people do and particularly women who are mothers of the work hat here and the, the wife hat here and the mother hat here and yet the hat that needs the most value and most purpose and most identity is your own hat and that was the Elka hat who who was I and where are you going and they're two big bold questions but if you don't know you will get lost and you will lose your identity. And I just remember tears rolling down my eyes and in that moment, it, I think it really shocked my husband. It had just been building up. And the truth was I was getting no time to myself. I was doing these million other things which so many human beings do. We give of our time and we, we forget that if our tank is not full and we don't know who we are, then we're never gonna be able to give the best of ourselves out to everyone else. And so we will all feel lost at some moment. All of us will. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter how much money you make. You could be at the top of your game. And if you don't know what you stand for, what your values are, your purpose, your worth, who you are, that will happen. It was one of the worst moments of my life. And four years on now at, at 34, it has been a pivotal moment of my life because from that moment, I identified what needed to change and I have, and life has moved forward. So I encourage anyone who, who is feeling lost and completely vulnerable and fragile, that use your wisdom and your discerning heart to choose the right people around you in your world to talk to about having this loss of identity and find a way to get it back so that you can be the best version of yourself and give the most amount of love to everybody else around you.